Hello, my name is Tony Dong. Exxon Mobil Corporation Zoom is at 81.24. Per share in Starbucks Corporation's Bucks is listed at 59.64. Exxon Mobil Corporation Zoom stock price movement. In recent trading day, Exxon Mobil Corporation Zoom stock showed the move of 0.45%, with the closing price of 81.24. Closing price generally refers to the last price at which a stock trades during a regular trading session. The company moved in the past week with shift of 1.84%. Over the last three months, the shares of the company have changed 0.01% and performed 10.60% over the last six months. Earn on equity reveals how much profit a company earned in comparison to the total amount of shareholder equity found on the balance sheet. It has a return on equity row of 5.90%. Tracking row of value which gives an idea as to how efficient management is at using its assets to generate earnings. The firm has a return on assets row of value of 3.00%. However it has a net margin of 4.30%. Its average true range at per shows a figure of 098 the stock currently has monthly volatility of 1.18% and weekly volatility of 0.23%. The beta for the stock stands at 0.81. The stock's dividend yield stands at 3.79%. The consensus recommendation for stock is 2.90. The rating scale runs from 1 to 5 with 5 indicating a strong sell, 1 indicating a strong buy, and 3 indicating a hold. Technical Indicators Summary Investors and Traders Continue to Monitor Technical Levels of Shares of Exxon Mobil Corporation ZUM. A frequently used tool among technical stock analysts is the Moving Average. Moving averages are considered to be lagging indicators that simply take the average price of a stock over a certain period of time. Moving averages can be very helpful for identifying peaks and troughs. They may also be used to assess the trader figure, out proper support and resistance levels for the stock. The stock closing price is currently trading downward to its 50-day moving average with change of 0.63%, tumble to its 20-day moving average with figure of 0.40%, and behind its 200-day moving average with value 3.74%. The share last price represents Dalek move of 14.98% in value from company's 52-week high price and shows 2.50% above change in value from its 52-week low price. Checking in on some other technical levels, the 14 day RSI is currently at 46.98. Starbucks Corporation's buck stock moved with shift of 2.07% in the past week. During the last month, the stock has changed 5.18% and performed 4.43% over the last six months. The volatility was noted at 1.27% in recent month and it observed weekly volatility of 1.35%. The beta factor for the stock is listed at 0.79. The mean rating score for the stock is at 1.80. In current trading day Starbucks Corporation's buck stock confirmed the flow of 0.28% with the final price of 59.64. Its average true range at for value figured out at 0.86. It has a return on investment ROI of 29.50% and a gross margin of 60.20%. The company dividend yield observed at 1.68%. Technical snapshot The last closing stock price represents a downfall of 8.06% in price from company's 52-week high price and indicates a 17.31% above from its 52-week low price. The recent closing stock price gained 4.33% when it compared to 200-day moving average. The stock share price dropped 3.62% comparing to its 20-day moving average. The stock price is moving downward 2.25% to its 50-day moving average. Well, moving average SMA is an arithmetic moving average calculated by adding the closing price of the security for a number of time periods and then dividing this total by the number of time periods. A simple moving average smooths out volatility and makes it easier to view the price trend of a security. If the simple moving average points up, this means that the security's price is increasing. If it is pointing down it means that the security's price is decreasing. 
The longer the time frame for the moving average, the smoother the simple moving average. A shorter term moving average is more volatile but its reading is closer to the source data. Thank you for watching. For the follow up, subscribe to the channel yourself here. Hello my name is Tony Dong, EPS for Midpen Bancorp, Inc. MPB expected at 0.00, DE Shaw Company trimmed Exxon Mobil's um position, by 112.48 million analysts expect Midpen Bancorp, Inc. NASDAQ MPB to report 0.00 EPS, on July 20. The stock increased 2.50%, or 0.65 on June 26, reaching 26.7. About shares traded. Midpen Bancorp, Inc. NASDAQ MPB has risen 80.96% since June 27, 2016, and is uptrending. It has outperformed by 64.26% the SP500, DE Shaw Company Inc. decreased Exxon Mobil Corp. ZUM stake by 66.15% reported in 2016 Q4 SEC filing. DE Shaw Company Inc. sold 1.25M shares as Exxon Mobil Corp. ZUM S stock rose 0.21%. The DE Shaw Company Inc. holds 639,450 shares, with 57.72 million value, down from 1.89 million last quarter. Exxon Mobil Corp. now has 346.49B valuation. The stock decreased 0.45%, or 0.37, during the last trading session, reaching 81.24. About shares traded. Exxon Mobil Corporation NYSUM has declined 9.08% since June 27, 2016, and is downtrending. It has underperformed by 25.78% the SP500, since May 1, 2017, it had 4 insider purchases, and 0 selling transactions for 55,918 activity. Abel Roberta had bought 500 shares worth 13,450 on Monday, May 8. Another trade for 350 shares valued at 9,588 was made by Paduzzi Michael D on Thursday, May 11. Shares for 5,372 were bought by Klinger Robert Eniderer Kelly K bought 27,508 worth of Midpen Bancorp, Inc. Nasdaq MPB on Monday, May 1st, investors' sentiment decreased as 0.4 in 2016 Q4 it's down 3.60 from 4 in 2016 Q3. It turned negative as three investors sold Midpen Bancorp in shares while two reduced holdings. Two funds opened positions while zero raised stakes. 125,278 shares or 51.93% less from 260,596 shares in 2016 Q3 were reported. ZPR has 0.51% invested in Midpen Bancorp, Inc. NASDAQ MPB. Dimensional Fund Apps LP has invested 0% in Midpen Bancorp, Inc. NASDAQ MPB. Bryn Mawr, a Pennsylvania-based fund reported 21,452 shares. BlackRock Fund Apps Res stated it has 790 shares, or 0% of all its holdings. Tower Capital. Ecom TRC reported 43 shares. Manufacturers Life Insurance that has invested 0% in Midpen Bancorp, Inc. NASDAQ MPB. Royal Bank Corporation of Canada holds 0% or 500 shares in its portfolio. BlackRock Invest Management LC has 566 shares for 0% of their portfolio. Emerald Mutual Fund Advisors Trust reported 0.02% stake. Wharton Business Limited Liability Company has invested 0.05% in Midpen Bancorp, Inc. NASDAQ MPB. Morgan Stanley accumulated 500 shares. Emerald Advisors Fund, a Pennsylvania-based fund reported 31,207 shares. Midpen Bancorp, Inc. is the bank holding firm for Midpen Bank the Bank. The company has market cap of 110.72 million. The bank engages in a full-service commercial banking and trust business, providing a range of financial services, including mortgage and home equity loans, secured and unsecured commercial and consumer loans, lines of credit, community development loans, non-profit entities, and local government loans, and various types of time and demand deposits, including checking accounts, savings accounts, clubs, money market deposit accounts, certificates of deposit, and individual retirement accounts IRIS. It has a 14.13 PE ratio. The bank provides a range of trust and retail investment services. Among 22 analysts covering Exxon Mobil NYSUM, 8 have I rating, 5 sell, and 9 hold. Therefore, 36% are positive. Exxon Mobil had 48 analyst reports since July 22, 2015, according to Strating Sintel. Credit Suisse maintained the shares of ZUM in report on Monday, May 2, with underperform rating. The stock has hold rating by Citigroup on Wednesday, August 19. The stock of Exxon Mobil Corporation NYSUM has hold rating given on Thursday, August 6, by TD Securities. Goldman Sachs upgraded the stock to conviction buy rating on Wednesday, July 22nd report. As per Thursday, June 2nd, the company rating was downgraded by Bank of America. The rating was upgraded by Bank of America to buy on Thursday, May 11th. The rating was maintained by Jefferies with neutral on Friday, April 7th. As per Wednesday, November 18th, the company rating was downgraded by Raymond James. Nomura initiated the shares of some in report on Friday, March 18th with reduced rating. 
as per Monday, May 1st, the company rating was maintained by Mo Capital Markets. Analysts await Exxon Mobil Corporation NISUM to report earnings on August 4. 0.94 earnings per share, up 129.27%, or 0.53, from last year's 0.41 per share. Zum's profit will be 4.01B for 21.61P, but the 0.94 ups becomes a reality. After 0.95 actual earnings per share reported by ExxonMobil Corporation for the previous quarter, Wall Street now forecasts 1.05% negative ups growth. Midpen Bancorp Inc. receive news ratings via email enter your email address below to receive a concise daily summary of the latest news and analyst ratings with our daily email Thank you for watching. For the follow-up, subscribe to the channel yourself here.